Hello and welcome back. So last time we designed an access table called student T. You can now open this in the data sheet view and populate this with data. Isn't it? For example, you could write your first name Jacob and if you notice one has already been entered here. This is an auto number. All right. It has been entered automatically by access. So last name, let's say Johnson. Press the tab key. So you could write here JJ at email.com. Press the tab key. And do you notice here? This has become a hyperlink. So if you want to now insert a photo here, you just right click on this, go to insert object. You can create new or you can create from file. Browse to the area where you have your photograph. Let's say, let's say we want this one. Okay. Okay. And we have something called package here. If you double click on this, you get this window do you want to open this file you say okay open so you will see this file here like this and there you have the image okay I'm going to close this now yeah next we have to enter gender so now you press the tab key and you will go to gender and here you can see that because we selected a lookup value, we can click here and say, okay, let's say male. Let me press the tab key and we are here. We can select basic computing. Yes, has a knowledge of basic computing. Date of birth. So you can write the date of birth or you can click here and you can get a calendar like this. That may take longer. So we will write here date of birth, for example, 01. 20th, 20th January, let's say 1990. Okay, and we'll press the tab key. And you see here, there is an area for attachment. So if you right click again, manage attachments. At the moment, we have zero attachments. So you can add, click on this. When you get something like this, you can go to the appropriate folder. For example, we can go to the hard disk drive C, go to free access training, double click on it and let's say we have this resume here, open and OK. So this gets added. Do you notice this? You double click on this, you get this window again so you can say open, click on it and say open and of course you can see the resume. Alright, I'm going to close this now. And we can say OK to this. Now we have filled this data here. The complete row has been filled. Often you would also have some data, let's say, in a Word document or in Excel where you have been working for many years. So you can get that data also. Let me show you, for example, Word data. So I'm going to start Word and get that data for you. So there it is. Let's say we have the first name and the last name. So what can we do? We can select this we have already, Jacob Johnson. So we'll select these names. Okay. We can right click and copy. We'll minimize this. To paste the data that we copied from the Word document, we would click here on this first name and select these cells here, including the new one, and click on Paste. Okay, and there you see the data there has been copied. Are you sure you want to paste these records? We'll say yes. Okay, now let's say you had more data in an Excel document. So could you get that here also? Yes. So we'll go here for example and you see here in an Excel sheet we have for example this data here. So we can select this. Okay. We'll copy this, click here, 
minimize this. So let's say we select now right up to this area and click on paste and we get this message you're about to paste seven records yes so you see you can not only enter your date manually one by one but you can also copy and paste data either from a word document which has data in a table or you can get data easily from an excel worksheet if you had this complete table organized like this for example in an excel worksheet you could then also get the complete data by going to external data and then importing it from here all right so this is how you enter data i am going to enter more data into this which will include photographs gender basic computing and so on and then we will see in the next video how we can sort and filter this data. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.